primary one is the, uh, the new battery pack. So in the back of the robot here you'll see a large box which represents all the energy that the teams will have to work with during the entire uh, DRC finals. That battery then goes through this brand new distribution panel uh, that uh, provides all the power on the robot. In the heart of the robot is a brand new pump. This is a very quiet pump and we're, we're really excited about this pump because it makes the robot a lot quieter. The teams can actually uh, operate this robot without the, uh, the need for any hearing protection. It's a variable uh, pressure pump, so that'll allow the teams to change and decide what pressure they will use on the robot during any of the tasks of the competition. And that will allow them to actually save battery power by using less pressure on the robot. Up here we will have a set of computers and the teams will use those to process images out of the sensor head and then command the robot to do its tasks. The arms have been repositioned on this robot. Basically the shoulders have been flipped over. You see they are now cut, the arms come out from much lower in the robot and this allows the, the users to have more workspace in front of the robot so it can see what its hands are doing. These are the older forearms, but we will have a new set of electric forearms which have a wrist degree of freedom which will allow them to turn doorknobs without having to torque the whole arm. Three quarters of this robot has changed basically from the knees all the way up. So the teams are going to have quite a job over the next three months to get reacquainted with the new Atlas Unplugged.